gonna tie a shrimp flying out uh, and it's going to be called the hot melt hot spot shrimp I have here a size 12 uh, barbless check nymph or grub style hook I'm going to add on our black tie and thread to that so first things first we're going to take a bit of partridge here and I'm just going to strip off the side of a feather and we're going to tie that in sticking out the back like little breathers I suppose length of that's up to yourself and how far around the bend you're going to come again up to yourself but I like to get that sort of curved shape so for the rib I'm going to use just a, a black nylon Tie that in tight down to the tie-off point of our partridge here. And for a bit of weight, what I'm going to use is this little adhesive lead strip. And as you can see, I have a cut at an angle in it here. So I'm going to cut again another angle, maybe about a millimeter or two back from that. Cut that off again. And what that'll do is make me a little elongated lead diamond shape which I can set on top of my fly and then bind down heavier the fly the more layers of that you can put on so dubbing is just a mixture of uh, hair so there's hair's mask and hair hair's ear in that for some of the spiky yard hairs that up to roughly halfway or so along. And for the hot spot I'm going to use this which is a hand spectra dub. This is an orange it's number 94. But well, there's a variety of other weird and wonderful colours of that which you can put in. And we're just going to dub on a spot of that in the middle of the fly and then again swap over to the hair to finish the fly. Get a little bit thicker and then taper it down towards the, the front. So that's essentially the shrimp body itself tied. I'm just going to slide the fibers down to leave this fairly flat. I'm going to whip that off and nip it off and then add a little dab of super glue there just to hold that. Place. Now the fiddly bit, we take our hot melt glue and put a little streak of that on top and then we want to take a dubbing needle. Spread that down. Should just snap off. And as it is drying out, you can just lick your finger and then it'll not stick to you. Now, what we want to do is leave that just till it starts to go off, but it's still a little bit soft. 
and then we take our black nylon and rib that and it should sort of bite in slightly to the hot melt and then at the front a few whips just to finish that off with the nylon and that is our fly done but what you can do if you want is just to turn the fly slightly inside and take a lighter and just pass it across the back of it without setting fire to your fly of course just to smooth that off and then just to be sure of the head a little bit of super glue just into those couple of wraps of nylon and that is our hot melt hot spot shrimp and if you want it a little bit more hairy, leggy, just take your dubbing needle and on the underside pick out some of those fibres in between the wraps. And that'll give you the impression of legs. Hot melt, hot spot, shrimp.